Joe L and B has been taught of the story and everybody been talking about exactly what happened when he had the altercation with Marcus Hayes. And Marcus Hayes, just in case a lot of people might not know, that he's a reporter for Philadelphia. He's a columnist. And to me, I thought that was very disrespectful what he said about MB, you know, bringing up his deceased brother and his child. You know, and his brother was in a terrible accident and he died. Very heartless, very hurtful to MB. And a lot of people showing sympathy towards MB about the situation that occurred. And that led to his three game suspension that the NBA gave him, which I truly disagree with that. But I'm your girl, Jackie G, AKA Sports Chick. And I want to say thank you all for coming back to my channel. I'm above a thousand subscribers. I do appreciate everyone. God bless you. And y'all drop your comments and let me know what you, what you think about the overall, you know, about him being suspended for three games. But um, back, back on Marcus, you know, I truly believe, I always believe in being professional. And that goes for all levels. When you when you get respect, you get respect. And to me, that was just plain on disrespectful. You know, NBA being in a season for 11 seasons. And yes, people do get hurt. People do need time away from playing. I mean, it's not a machine. You know, we're not machines. We're humans. And I just felt like that was very distasteful from a, a, a reporter who's supposed to give news, but he became too personal. And I feel like he got out of his lane, he needed to stay oh, in his shit. lane. And they end up removing what he said about his family out of it, which he should have it removed. But I truly disagree with the three day uh, suspension. I believe uh, they should write out some type of uh, you know, repercussion, even if it was just one game. But uh, three games unpaid, which I know Joel's not worried about. <laughs> He's most definitely not losing sleep over it. <laughs> but yeah, this too shall pass. So we all know Joel being prone. He's prone to injuries. You know, he been having. He previously had back issues and knee issues, and they say he will be back playing next week against New York. So that is beautiful. It's good that he's trying to make an effort to come back and do what he need to do, baby. You know, so they say he's been practicing and trying to get back, you know, but we all know, you know, everybody aging. So he might not be, God, uh, say Joel five years ago. Okay, because we all are aging. And, you know, we might not have the same energy, the same physicality, as we used to have. But I believe this brother will be coming back, you know, next Tuesday, they say. And I believe, you know, it's going to take a little time for him to get back in the groove. But um, you do have uh, Tyrese Matsy been holding the fort down, you know, which their record is one and six since they lost yesterday against the Clippers. And then I saw that Tyrese got injured as well. So, you know, that's a another downer um, but you do have Paul George you know he had 18 points and he's coming off an injury as well so he's still trying to get acclimated in their program so seven sisters have you know they they have a lot of things going on but hey I believe all teams go through adversity you know like I said the injuries you know everybody can get injured anytime anybody you know so 
um, you know, it happens to the greats as well. So, hey, you just got to take one day at a time and bounce back. But, yeah, y'all drop y'all comments and let me know what y'all think about it. But I truly believe it shouldn't be in three, three games. You know, I feel like the corporation should uh, try to have a mediation and try to bring both of them um, on one page, you know, which I heard he's still going to be working for Philadelphia, but he's going to be removing that, what he said about his deceased brother and his son, which Joel named his son after his brother. So, uh, you know, hoping the best for Joel. You know, I know he's getting a lot of scrutiny among the fans and other people saying, you know, he should try to play more. You know, he did make a comment that he would not play back-to-back -back games, you know, which I really can't blame him. You know, if, you, if you're if you injured, you're injured. Um, but, you know, these corporations can get real ugly. They can get messy. So, you know, if he taking advantage of it, I don't blame him at all. I really don't blame him. But as, just to piggyback on Marcus, yeah, Marcus Hayes, I know he did say something about um, in another podcast I was watching, I was watching, he mentioned that the fans pay a lot of money to see MB. Do you believe MB really can care less about the fans when he's injured? He's already having pressure, trying to, you know, meet the expectations, you know. He just got paid a, a nice lucrative deal, but he's not worried about fans. He's trying to better his health. And I don't understand what, why would he even think that he would be worried about it. You know, his priority is trying to get back, back where he needs to be. So he can take care of his family. I mean, try to win games for his team, you know, so they can become a synergy. Because you can visibly see that something is going on. You know, you can see that the spirit, his spirit is not there. You know, we don't all know. We don't know what all going on. We really don't. But um, he will be playing next Tuesday against New York. So, hope the best for Joel. And the 76ers, you know, because, you know, we all love seeing sports, but we don't really know what all goes on behind it. You know, we just worry about how many points they have, how many steals, how much money they make. But, yeah, buy me a girl, Jackie G, a.k.a. Sports Chick, and I will be back, y'all, with some more videos. Y'all hit that notification button.